Hello guys, welcome to the video. So today we've got a slightly different kind of video for you guys. Um, today we will be talking about what I think is a potential scam, a credit card scam from a bank. Uh, so this is an interesting story. I want you guys to listen to what I've got to say here. Uh, because I do want to warn you guys and let you guys know what I think. And let me know in the comment section below if you agree with me that it's a scam or not. Um, and let me know why, you know. Feel free to disagree with me. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Uh, but I'll tell you my whole story here because uh, I want to share as much information as I can with uh, the viewers off this channel. So this is regarding the Commerce Bank Special Connections credit card. Now, if I'm being honest, I've never heard of Commerce Bank before uh, until I got these mailing offers uh, that I got in the mail that, hey, you know, we've got this credit card, uh, you're pre-approved. Um, and, you know, if you spend X amount of money, you get a little bit of sign-up bonus as with most credit cards. I uh, didn't have an annual fee, so, you know, checked all the boxes, thought I would, you know, get it for the sign-up bonus at least and, you know, give Commerce Bank a try uh, because I've never banked with them before. So, great, I used the mail-in offer code. Uh, I actually have saved the mail-in offer right here, um, right here, yeah. So, I saved the mail-in offer, um, I got the code from the mail-in offer, I apply, instantly get approved, um, and eventually the card arrives. Um, I take that card, and um, I set up my online um, credentials for the account, so, you know, I could pay what I owe to the card, etc., activate the card, you know, what you do with credit cards. Now, when I set up the account, uh, and created my online account, I wanted to add my uh, bank account there so that I could pay the charges I was going to put on this card. Now, when I try to do that, um, I usually use my either Bank of America or Chase checking account as those two are the most active uh, checking account that I have. Um, so when I tried to do that, it wouldn't let me add an external bank account to pay this credit card. So the only way I could have paid this credit card balance off was if I created a commerce bank checking account. I have never experienced that with any bank or credit union that I have credit cards with. Um, I've got PenFed credit union and a bunch of other credit unions, every single major issuer and not some major issuer you could think of. I've, I've got credit cards with, you could take a look at my channel that, you know, should give you a good idea of, you know, the, the variety or the range of uh, issuers that I've got experience with. This is the first time ever that, um, they have. Uh, kind of forced you to create uh, a checking account with them so you could pay off this card. Now, keep in mind, I didn't spend any money on that card yet because I was that's still a part of my setting up process whenever I get a new credit card. But I could understand how most people wouldn't do it until they put some spend on that credit card and that's where it becomes a scam. Imagine you get this card, you're excited about the sign-up bonus, you spend, I don't know, put gas on it or groceries, whatever, um, you spend a hundred bucks on it, right? Now you go to pay it off and that's when you find out, oh, I can't pay it off. I, I must have a checking account with Commerce Bank in order to pay it off. And at that point, it is too late. At that point, it is too late. So that's how they scam you to kind of force you into making more accounts with them. And don't quote me on this, but most checking account have some kind of fee if you don't maintain a balance or something like that. Now, in order to kind of confirm what I just said, I call them up, not once, twice, and I was on hold 
once on a weekday, once on a weekend, because I wanted to kind of see what the, you know, if it would make any difference if I called during the weekday or weekend. I was on hold with them for over two hours and this automated music playing in the background, nobody picked it up. So if you try to solve your issues by calling a number in the back of the card, that's not gonna do it for you. So that is Commerce Bank for you, my friends. This is the card. And uh, if you guys follow me on YouTube or subscribe to me on YouTube, you guys know I shared this uh, picture on the, uh, on the page where you could post it, um, uh, post uh, things on the wall, pictures, etc. that, hey, I got a new credit card review and, uh, you know, unboxing coming soon. Yeah. So I, I was excited about it until all this happened. So you could rest assured, I mean, I've unboxed it. Um, but yeah, no unboxing video is coming. And um, this essentially take this as a review. Um, I personally would not recommend this card to uh, anyone I know <laughs> or any of the viewers of this channel. I would actually strongly advise to stay away from Commerce Bank products. Um, so that's my recommendation. That's my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. But uh, given that I talk heavily about credit cards on my channel, I would be amiss if I um, didn't mention this um, and you know speak about my experience. Uh, you'll see a lot of my videos. I say, hey, I highly recommend this card, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, because that's how I genuinely feel. And same with this, this is how I genuinely feel. So I will not recommend this card to, you know, anyone as a matter of fact. And now things can change in the future. If, you know, if things change for Commerce Bank and, you know, they get their act together, um, you know, I might give them a second shot, but the future would tell. But as things stand right now, I cannot recommend this product to anyone and actually want to warn you guys, you know, that I think personally, that this is a scam because of this. And this is a scam directly from the bank, by the way. Um, so let me know in the comment section below if you guys think it's a scam or you don't think it's a scam and give me a reason why. You know, feel free to disagree with me. That's totally fine. Uh, but that's my experience with them because after, imagine that you, you get a credit card, you spend some money on it, and the only way to pay it off is to have now they make you open a checking account with them i don't know what the fees look like when it comes to it uh maybe there's a online only version where there's no fees but most let's be honest most checking accounts have fees right and a bunch of other hoops to jump through now you've got another account that you know you got to maintain but you only wanted to open the credit card right so that's my opinion um i will keep you guys posted if anything uh you know comes out of this credit card or are there any developments or updates? Uh, but yeah, so far as they stand, this is what it is. Um, stay subscribed um, if you know want to stay up to date on this uh, you know update or other credit card related uh, items. Um, yeah. So I don't think we need to make this video any longer than it is. Um, let me know in your, your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like videos like this, where I warn you guys of potential scams or pitfalls or, you know, gotchas from, you know, banks or other issuers, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know if you like videos like this, if you want more informational videos, or would you like more, you know, uh, just review and unboxing kind of videos. Um, you know, just let me know and, you know, we'll take it from there. So stay safe out there, guys. Once again, this is the mail-in offer and the credit card papers. And this is the credit card that you could rest assured I will not be using or recommending to anyone. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.